In this module, you'll explore the data panel, create new projects and folders, save Fusion 360 design files, and add people to your team or projects. Start by opening the data panel by selecting the Show Data Panel icon in the top left corner. Note that you can also press Option plus Command plus P on Mac or Control plus Alt plus P on Windows to show or hide the data panel. Once open, the data panel lists all of your projects. If you're just getting started with Fusion 360, then you will only see a set of sample projects. Each sample project organizes types of sample files, including CAM samples, design samples, and more. You can think of projects as top-level folders to organize one or more design files. Most often, projects will include many design files that make up a product assembly. At the top of the data panel, select the New Project button to create a new project. You can then type out a project name. For example, I'll type Learn Fusion 360 in 90 minutes. Rename projects at any time by right-clicking, followed by Rename. Then type the desired name. Double-click on a project to open it. You will then see all folders and design files related to the project. Folders are a way to organize design files within a project. Create a new folder via the New Folder button, followed by defining the folder name. It is important to note that folders are optional, whereas Fusion 360 requires at least one project at all times. At any time, you can right-click to rename, delete, or add the folder to the offline cache, which makes sure the files are available while working in offline mode. To the left of the New Folder button is an Upload button. Upload opens the Upload dialog where you can select and upload many file formats, including from other CAD programs. Before uploading, be sure to define the project location. The upload process will use the cloud to translate other acceptable CAD formats to a file type usable with Fusion 360. To the right of the New Folder button is a Settings icon. This icon represents options to sort folders and files. Before looking at the rest of the data panel, let's create a new design file. By default, a Fusion 360 design file or tab is always open. Thus, we need to click the Save icon in the Applications bar to save the design file to the data panel. We can then type the desired file name. After defining the file name, we'll toggle open the Location dropdown. The dialog allows us to select the project on the left. After selecting the project, we'll select an optional folder. Notice you can also create new projects and new folders directly in the dialog. Once the desired location is selected, we'll select the Save button. Notice how the tab displays the name of the design file. I'll go ahead and close the Design tab by selecting the Close icon. Back in the Data panel, I'll double-click on the project and folder to find the newly saved file. We can open a design file by double-clicking on the file. Alternatively, we can right-click on the file followed by selecting Open. Notice the right-click menu also includes the ability to insert into current design, create new drawings from a design, share a public link to the Fusion 360 file, import a new version, add to offline cache, and create milestones. The data panel is the core workflow you'll use to manage your designs and assemblies. Adding people to a project or folder can be done in the data panel. With the desired project or folder open, let's select the People tab at the top of the data panel. Here we can type the email address of our teammate and then select the Invite button. Use the email that your teammates use to log into Fusion 360. Invite will send them an invitation to accept the project or folder. Once complete, the team members will make your Fusion team active, and then they can see the same project and relevant folders and design files in their data panel. Finally, at the top of the data panel, you can select and toggle between different teams. Note that Fusion 360 allows you to join more than one team. On the far right, the Open External icon will open Fusion Team in your default web browser. 
Fusion Team on the web provides additional features and flexibility to manage your CAD data, all from a supported web browser. Back in Fusion 360, we can refresh the data panel. Let's use the search option to find a project, folder, or design file by name. The close icon will allow us to close the data panel similar to the hide data panel icon. The data panel can remain open or closed while designing, though many find closing the data panel provides more room for designing in the canvas. You now know how to create and manage projects, folders, and design files in Autodesk Fusion 360 through the data panel.